Hello YouTube, this is Patrick with another entry in the Blu-ray column. Um, I was going to go alphabetical because this Sunday I was going to do Season 1 of The Walking Dead on Blu-ray uh, because the premiere, you know, the second season premiere is coming out Sunday night. So I wanted to go back to follow, you know, the next movie after 310 to Yuma in my collection, like, alphabetically. But I didn't realize that there's a movie that came out today. Um, and it's something sort of a prequel kind of a thing, remake kind of a thing, not quite a sequel kind of a, it's, it's a remake of, uh, it's, it's kind of a thing, it's a th the thing, it's the thing. Uh, the prequel, remake, whatever comes out today, um, the one I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to talk a little bit about both, um, the one in my collection is the this one right here, the 1982 version, um, directed by John Carpenter and starring Kurt Russell, uh, which in its own right is a remake of a film called The Thing from Another World, but they're pretty, they're, they're pretty different movies, so it's not like in the case of the, the movie that's opening in theaters today. Um, you know, uh, as far as John Carpenter goes, this is probably my favorite movie of his. I mean, he's more, I mean, I think people almost like kind of forget that he made this sometime. When you hear John Carpenter, a lot of people just say Halloween. And then everyone goes, oh, yeah, right, The Thing, too. Yeah, The Thing is great. But I think The Thing is his best movie. Um, and in some res and that's, yeah, that means I enjoy it more than, you know, The Escape from New York and L.A. and uh, Big Trouble in Little China. So, yeah. Actually, in the same respect, I think The Thing is uh, Kurt Russell's best movie. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's a better film from Kurt Russell that I like, actually, more. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, uh, yeah, I think these both, like, take the boat. I mean, I love, hey, I love Overboard, um, <laughs> and Breakdown and Death Proof and everything like that. Actually, psyched, uh, Russell got the, um, got a role in Tarantino's next film, uh, Django Unchained, which, um, that should be pretty good. But anyway, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, I read a, an article, um, a review of the new film on a website, hitfix.com. Uh, it was written by uh, Drew McWeeny. Yes, that's his last name. My last name's Sweeney, so don't don't make fun. It's not funny. Um, it was a review of the new movie, uh, which I haven't seen, so I'm not really... I can't really speak too much. I can basically tell you what I read. I can't say what, you know, what I saw. I don't really want to see it. Um, but... Um, you know, he uh, he kind of mentioned something in the article about the original movie about how it bombed, and had it not bombed, John Carpenter probably would have gotten to do a whole hell of a lot more stuff, more free will at least, as far as doing things. You know, because this movie costs movie costs a lot of money. They did I don't know if it costs a lot of money, but they did a lot of special effects and pretty innovative stuff, um, and he probably could have been really given that you know that leeway. Um, and had the movie been successful and said it was more of a cult film and, uh, which is too bad, really is. Uh, the article mentioned, like, he could have gotten, you know, kind of like a whole, like, Spielberg kind of deal with, like, um, you know, a studio and really been allowed to, like, you know, realize his full potential, which he really never has, uh, which really is a shame. It's a shame. Um, but anyway, um, the Blu-ray movie is 29 years old and it looks awesome. I got it for Christmas. No, that's not weird. Um, it was one of the movies that I wrote to tell somebody, like, hey, I don't have this. Somebody buy it for me. And they did. So, yeah. So it cost me nothing. It's awesome. And that's right. It's great for my collection. I don't regret owning it. Um, let's see. The, uh, yeah, I was actually rewatching it a little earlier this week. And, um, special effects, like the creature effects, really are, like, amazing stuff. Uh, the gore is still fantastic, and you know, believe it or not, the uh, the acting um, is actually really good. You know, not just Kurt Russell, of course, uh, my man Wilford Brimley uh, from Walker, Texas Ranger, uh, also awesome. Uh, but the <laughs> besides the gore aspect, as far as the horror thing goes, the um, the film really has a lot of suspense in the way that this creature you know, might all of a sudden be, like, your friend now. Like, your your best friend might all of a sudden be trying to kill you. 
uh, because it has this thing inside them or whatever. And uh, that's just, you know, it's, that's a completely different thing from the whole, like, gore aspect. Uh, which is one of the reasons why this movie is great. Because it takes on both kinds of horror in that sense. Uh, let's see, let's see, what else? Um, the, uh, the new film, speaking of, like, the suspense aspect, the new film, again, I read this, the review on, on Hitfix, and, um... He had problems, uh, and he kind of related to the idea that the alien in this film um, kind of comes off as if it's actually a real thing because it's actually like terrified and it's trying to latch on to things to survive. It wants to be left, you know, left alone. It just wants to like survive, um, which makes it more of a living, breathing thing. Whereas apparently in this new movie, the thing, this you know, monster thing is just a monster and it's just kind of out to kill. Um, so you lose some sub some uh, subtlety there. Uh, uh, you know, so that that's that's a bit of a loss. Again, I haven't seen it. I'm going on one guy that I trust. But I'm just saying that's, you know... Um, what else? What else? I'm sure the new one... I saw a clip of the new one and it has, like, a couple of, like, you know, boom moments um, that didn't seem to work. I saw a couple of clips, and it just, I don't know, it didn't seem to work. You know, that's, again, this film has that stuff, too, but the suspense part, it has. And, um, it's kind of, it's it's kind of, uh, it's kind of upsetting, because the new one, you know, has some, like, decent, like, actors in it, as far as, um, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, you know, who from, like, uh, Scott Pilgrim and Death Proof. Um, you know, I like her. Uh, Joel Edgerton, who, um, I like now because he was so awesome in uh, Warrior. Um, he's in it, and then uh, who else? Uh, Mr. Echo from Lost is in it. I'm not gonna try pronouncing his name because it would just be pure fail. Uh, I'll just call him Triple A because he has like three names with the letter A. So I like all three of those people. I'm not sure who else is in it. I forget. Um, but it's just like a shame that you know. I mean, it's, I mean, it's just like a shame that it's just not that it's not that it seem, seemingly is coming off not worth it. Um, and that's really where I think remakes kind of get, you know, viewed upon. It's like, you know, it was good, it was bad, you know, it was good, it was great, but was it worth it? Was there a point to doing it? Apparently there's none, as far as this one goes. Um, but, uh, let me see if there's something else I can get back with as far as, as far as this goes too also. I want to talk a little about the ending of this one. Uh, in relation to the ending of like horror movies today, as I'm going to end this this little thing soon, uh, the ending of the thing, the 82 version, is upsetting. And it's fucked up. And a lot of horror films end today in a way that they consider to be fucked up, where you see the movie, and the movie ends, and you go, holy shit, that was fucked up. Uh, like all the Saw movies or whatever like that. But... There's a difference between between being fucked up and then being fucked up and also like actually upsetting, where something's like bleak, and you just you walk the theater and you just like oh god. Um, some example is like the descent, like that's fucked up, but that is like pitch black dark ending. Um, even something like the descent, the uh, the unrated version, the British version, uh, where it ends and it's just like shit. You know, you really sit there and just go, oh, shit, this is bad. Um, and th this film has the same thing here, where you just, you're just like, wow. Um, that's my computer, just completely shuts off on me. Anyway, I guess I'll, that'll, that signals probably that this, this review should end. Um, so anyway, happy I got it. Um, again, take my thoughts about the new movie with a grain of salt, because like I said, I haven't seen it. So um, if you have seen it, let me know what you think about it, please. Uh, it's always good to get some other uh, inputs and stuff. But uh, alright, that's it. I'll see you guys on Sunday for the Walking Dead thing. Uh, until then, later.